everyone welcome back to the channel today i have a another to be eco for you and it is one of the special editions this is the rose gold jade color and i'm excited to show you what it looks like and what i think about it so let's switch a shot all right here we have the box that this pen comes in um and this is a nicer box than the regular to be eco box um it is uh, a black like coffin like box as they all are they're always coffin shaped um no they're just rectangular rectangulars um it has this nice rose gold uh print on it and says inspired by writing and twisby so it's a nice box you can use it for other stuff when you take out the um the foam that's in here uh, my only gripe with this box is that um, I had to open it before st I started filming because it is so tight. It like almost vacuum seals itself shut. Um, so I had to like really poke and prod to get the pen out. I do like this box though. It's nicer than their regular uh, plastic box. But yeah. When you open it, there is a pen and an ink. So this particular Eco comes with a small bottle of ink. It's an 18 milliliter bottle. It's midnight blue. I have not used this ink in this pen. I used a different ink, but you could ink it up with this pen, with this ink. Um, so I think this is cute. It's a nice idea. I Like if you're giving a gift and the gift is a pen with ink, this is a really cool combo. Like it's an easy thing to give as a gift. Um, the pen itself is like slotted in there and then this foam can be lifted to get to the wrench and the sort of silicone grease. It's not really silicone grease in the traditional sense because it is really runny, but it acts like it. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice secure situation right there. Now the pen, it is a Twisby Eco with a rose gold trim. It is the Eco T, so it has a triangular shape. And one of the main differences between the Eco and the regular Eco and this more premium Eco is this like metallic top. I have another rose gold Eco right here. This was a special edition, but it also has that metallic top. Um, this one was the Golden Horse one. This also cost a pretty penny more than the regular Eco. Regular Eco, you can see here, has that really just plain old red top um but yeah this one is like 32 dollars and this was 75 now you get an ink with 75 dollars right but this ink does not cost 40 dollars so it's up to you to decide if the premium is worth it on this rose gold finish um the green color is okay it is not my favorite green um even though i'm still tempted by it um, but if you look at the the other jade eco they did with that semi-translucent, really milky finish, I would have preferred that one with the rose gold trim than this one, even though this is the royal, or the royal, the rose gold jade. Um, when it came to me, uh, this cap band looked quite tarnished, and I don't know if that's normal or if the finish is failing on this but I've decided to still like keep it but it is it is slightly weird to me that it is looking quite tarnished um let me see if I can get that more up close like it didn't seem like it should have been this exact color and I already wiped some of it off but it did seem like it was like oxidizing in some way um the eco tea uh, has a more triangular grip than the regular Eco. If you are a fan of that, that is a good thing then. I don't mind it either way. I'm trying to capture it, but it's really hard. But just, it has a more guided grip. For people who have problems with rotating pens or their grips, this could be a really w good thing for you. It has the piston mechanism that is in rose gold. I really like the look of this, but again, this green, I don't really understand the choice of it. Um, I mean, I still bought it. Like, I, it still got me, um, but there's so many other lovely greens, like a really dark green would have worked really nicely, or like more petroly green. The nib, 
is the standard eco nib however it has a rose gold finish it's kind of hard to see right now because there's ink on this nib um, this ink creeps a little bit into it but just trust me it is a rose gold nib I can try and show you the other rose gold one it is the same type of nib um, yeah that's a little more clear and it is the standard to be eco nib like there's no special special nib for it. The nice thing is that this one came in abroad and I really, really like Twizzy Bee rods. Um, again, it's an eco, so like writes like an eco, acts like an eco, uh, specifically the eco tee. Um, but it's, it's a good writer. So this specific one is a rod. And I love broad nibs and eco broad nibs are really good. Um, they tend to be quite wet and that is my favorite thing. The uh, writing experience is very pleasant. And then I paired it with an ink that is like a stark contrast with the green, which I also like. I occasionally will match, but generally I won't match because I like a nice contrast. The ink is Iro Shizuku Momiji. It's one of my favorite inks. Um, I love how bright it is. It's like just on the edge of pink. Um, it's like a red pink and it's great. Um, so yeah, it's a nice writer. Is the premium worth it? It's completely up to you, but I do think that charging so much more for a simple change of fi finish, like a simple change of plating is kind of a big deal. Um, and in all, like in all, I will not use this ink very often probably. It is midnight blue. I do use blues occasionally, but I just don't foresee myself using this one. So probably gonna give that one away to someone who will wanna use it. So for me, just offer offer this version with the ink and offer a separate version for like $10 less. Um, yeah, that would be ideal. Anyway, it's still a nice pen, it's cool. Uh, I like using it, but would I recommend it over a regular eco? Probably not. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was informative, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.